Hi, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. Today, I want to experiment with some more embossing. So I apologize ahead of time because I'm using the clear embossing ink pad. So you may not be able to see everything until I actually put the powder down. And what I wanted to do is use some different kinds of papers to try and see what embossing I would, you know, what papers maybe take it better or just experiment with different um, textures, I guess. So, the reason I thought of this was because I got some new stamps the other day and I stamped a blend of browns on this very thin chipboard. I don't usually like to stamp on chipboard because um, my stamps have a hard time, um, not my stamps, my punches have a hard time getting through the thick paper. But this one was actually thinner than a lot of the chipboard I've tried before. So I gave it a try and I really like how it looks on there. So I have some more of this thin stuff. Now this was a box of, um, they're called munchies. And basically they're like a deconstructed granola bar, but it's a, you know, it was a food box, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So they, various thicknesses and whatever products you buy. So I'm gonna have to be a little more mindful of what I keep and what I don't keep. So anyways, I wanted to stamp some images and just see what I could come up with. I was watching Carrie the Crafter the other day and he did predominantly um, butterflies but I wanted to try some of my favorite stamps and just see how this how this works. And so I'm going to be playing with some this is clear sparkle. Then I have clear gloss. I don't really know what the difference is. Um opaque bright white i brought the gold because you know um gold and this is primary ebony so what i've come away with so far is that you're going to do it on opposites and i'm just looking at my embossing pad and it's got stuff on it dots. Hopefully that's just from dirty stamps because I don't, I'm not the greatest at cleaning my stamps. So I also have brought with me this very thin foam. I heard that um, it's good for the, for pressing down. I don't know. We'll see. Trying it. And I think I want to do my... This is a, a jelly print that I had left over. Just a little piece. And here's a big B. And so another thing I just learned from Carrie is that he puts the stamp pad to the... Um, to the actual stamp so that his um, that he gets a better surface and he doesn't mess up his um, stamp block is that what you call it all right so here's this B and I'm just gonna I might fussy cut these later. I 
because the pieces of paper I have, they're not very big. Just basically scraps today to see what I like. So I can see there is a glossy image there. And I have a few different images of bees that I thought I would maybe try a couple different ones. Yeah, because we're always looking for new ways to um, show off the things we have, right? So, um, all right, so what color do I want these? These could, This could go either way because the background's fairly dark. So, I think the sparkle one would be nice. However, I'm going to have to bring in my paper for this. Clear Sparkle. Let's try this one. Haven't used it yet. So I'll just see what happens here. And too, I noticed that Carrie the crafter when he was doing this was very generous with his um embossing powder. I don't think I've been as generous when I do it. Yeah, that's going to be really messy. doesn't look all that wonderful yet. And then the trick to get everything back in here. I think I chose the wrong paper. Yeah, yuck sticking to all that shininess and I thought that would I thought that would help but it's not helping so I got a mess already I guess you kind of have to like making a mess to do this all right so I'm just gonna try the embossing thing or the heat gun on there Try not to burn my fingers. And two, this has a label paper on the back, so we'll see. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, it might have been better on a black. Maybe I should have stayed with one or the other, black or white. And now I'm out of that particular paper. But, I mean, you can't really see it. But it is shiny. It is sparkly. So technically a success. All right, let's move on to something that will be easier. Um, I'm going to try the same the same bees because I want to get a better idea of what this is going to be able to do. So here I'm going to have to go on with white. 
Although I can see that showing up better there. That's good. I might like, oh, that's bad. I went all over, so. Apparently you can be messy in all sorts of ways here. to roughly clean that up so I don't get I want a cl as clean a print as I can get I guess and why does a belly band keep coming to mind I was just going to be experimenting but and I keep forgetting this This is nice though, I actually don't mind even just the stamp. All right, so I've got different directions. And I need one going this way. So just leaving it on there for it to grab. Okay. Well, that's really pretty already so yay okay so then opaque bright white I could do a clear gloss that actually looks good already okay I said I was gonna go with the easy ones so just need to grab some paper for the background um, so that I can collect, here, I'll try this one. It's not a great size, but I can grab a few. white here we come opaque bright white so how are you doing today what's new in your life in your world October has arrived and uh, we had a really bad storm here at the end of September yet so it was hair I mean not bad according to what's going on in other places so I should probably um, change my wording we had an interesting development in the atmosphere <laughs> Um, what happened was, it was a beautiful day, like fall day, and it just, all, you know, the leaves seemed to all be falling, so it was quite windy, but beautiful, sun was shining, and more of a fallish temperature. Like, not hot, just nice, but windy. And then after we went to bed, all of a sudden I heard what I thought was loud rain. And it turned out to be hail. And it got even windier. And so that was kind of... disconcerting because with the hail I always pray that the Lord watches over the vehicles because um, we don't have any covering for our vehicles and so far he has answered and 
he is faithful at the same time you know a car isn't you know life or death so then I kind of feel selfish for asking but he he is so good he is so gentle and kind so yeah no damage that I could see And I have some extra here that I didn't want, but I'm going to have to be okay with that because if I try to wipe it off, it will knock off some of the stuff that I want to stay. So, all right, I'll try this again. See what happens. Oh, wow, I'm actually really impressed with this one. It's still shiny, but yeah, it's like a solid white. Um, almost reminds me of like those, is it vinyl that I'm thinking of? It's really pretty. I'm just gonna see if I can, nope, that's what I figured. If you don't get that loose stuff off at first, you're not going to get it off. So, I don't know. I would prefer a, a cleaner look. But like I said, if I started to try and wipe it off, then I was starting to wipe off the actual design. So, okay, so that's the opaque white opaque white and it looks really good on black hmm. okay let's see what else looks good on black let's try that um let's try the clear gloss that might actually be better i'm gonna change my my stamp here are you like me? Do you have your favorite stamps? And you just keep coming back to those. This one seems to be my favorite. I used it so much, it's not really sticky anymore. I put a little bit of um, removable tape on my stamp block here so that my stamp would stick. So yeah, I've been meaning to do this play around with um, stamps and embossing powder for a long time, but just hasn't. Well, today's the day, I guess. Nice. So, have you asked the Lord for something and it's been such a long time since you asked him and you have kept asking him and it seems like he's not answering? Well... I had one of those things and it was over two years ago. It may not seem like a long time, but it seemed like a long time to me. Well, we got an answer this weekend and I'm ecstatic. I'm 
there's other things that I've asked the Lord for and we're still waiting on answers. So this is the clear gloss, so we'll see how this one does. Um, yeah, so there's other things that I've asked the Lord for and it's been longer than two years. But I've only more earnestly been praying about it for the last year. Well, probably more than two years on that one as well. Anyway, so it occurs to me that, hey, he's faithful with that other one. He, to me, it's finally, but in his time, right? So he answered that one. And so he's going to answer my other one as well. And so I am very encouraged yesterday and today to see how he's going to answer. So if you're waiting, just keep waiting and don't give up. It's kind of hard to move the embossing powder around without... I don't know, making a bigger mess. And again, ah, well, that's how you knock that over. Yeah, I don't really know how to keep that excess powder off. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up first. Hopefully, without making even more of a mess here. Okay, I'll put the lid on that so we don't spill it again. All right, I'll turn the volume down again. Okay, so there you see a nice comparison. I guess, I don't know, was my stamping that messy? But whatever, it's... I probably like this one better because at least it's not like messy, messy. Okay, so I have some leftover copy paper of a digital. Um, thought I would try it. There's a little bit of honeycomb, or yes, the stamp is of honeycomb and a bee, but there's a bit of color on that stamp from, okay, so however this is working, I'm getting a lot of residue from my embossing pad here. 
So it must be really squishy soft. Okay, where am I gonna do the other one? Maybe over here. Okay. I was thinking, I don't know, they might make good labels or something. Okay, so then what color? How about one in gold? Okay, that actually didn't seem to work too badly. Then this one, how about black? very black. It's not as black as it was. <laughs> oh well. It'll be fine. All right, here we go again. Okay, so I knocked a whole bunch of stuff down with my cord. So I'm kind of impressed with the gold. I think it all depends on what background you pick. So I do like that one, it's a keeper. I'm just gonna trim it down like so for now. Bring it up. See if you can see that. So yeah, that one actually worked really well. And maybe that's what I have to do is um, clean my stamp block before I put down the image because um, this thing is getting on it. And I think that's what's given me the extra. Although I thought I did that for this one too. And I still got extra on this one. But yeah, the black might, I don't know. The black might actually work better on a solid color, something like that. That's not very smooth. Try it on this chipboard. Clean it up. See these I can always cut a circle out of or punch a circle out of. And it still has some regular color ink on there, so that's okay because um, the black will cover it up. Okay, that looks a bit cleaner. Time will tell. So 
on some residue. Okay, I'll do this one and then I'll punch it out and see what we have. Okay, that's actually not bad. I think it does depend on what background you have. And let's see, what size is this? That might work. This is a one and a half inch. Yeah, that's the chipboard. I mean, I guess I still need practice because I'm not really happy with how that turned out right in the center there. But we can only get better, right? Okay, so what else have we got here? Um, I'm going to try the gold again on something else this time. I'm going to try the gold on here. So that's the black. I'm going to try the same stamp just to so I have like a, a fair comparison. I'm glad now that I got the B stamps because The, the butterfly was always my go-to, so something to change it up just a little. Okay, gold, where did you go? Here we go. Here we gold. trying also to tap it off as neatly as I can. And too, I wonder when I turn my heat gun on it, if some of it doesn't blow away and cause that, um, you know, that unclean, smudgy look. So some of the dust goes flying and then it sets as it's going. But, I don't know, maybe I'll have to come in slower with the heat gun. Still got a little bit of residue there. I guess that's part of the process, part of the journey. All right, got my one and a half inch punch. It's 
not bad. I'm not loving that one as much as this one. This one looks like more blistered and it has a, a finer look to it. This one is more solid. So, unfortunately, I don't really know enough about these things that I can tell you why. Is it the texture of the paper that it's taking the embossing ink better? Did more of it fly away on this one? I really don't know. But I do like the look of this one better, even though it's not as, like this one's really quite bold and solid. This one is more um, subtle. I like that better. So I'm gonna try one more thing. Um, maybe this paper, maybe I'll get another result. Too, it could be how much um, embossing ink is on there. Gold. One more time. Oops. It went bouncy. Okay, and again, it's a really solid look. Maybe I just didn't get very much. Um, oh, it might be the fact that, remember I had that, all that ink, the brown ink left on my stamp? Well, maybe that mixed with this on the stamp, and then when I put it down, it wasn't such a solid embossing ink it was more of a mix huh and yet I really like that look just barely So, I don't know, I could go on and on, but I don't want the video to be super long either. So, I think I'm going to leave that there. Just show you what we have done so far. But yes, my playtime today was inspired by this stamp impression right here. So I just wanted to see what else. Oh yes, let's not forget our belly band. I think this is, this is actually one of my favorite looking at it, just because of the results. That's nice too. I'll probably use both of those. And too, I was thinking I could maybe um, dab some acrylic ink on that one just to make it look more well let me cut this and then I'll show you what I mean I'm just gonna clean that up a bit So 
So I just need my white acrylic, I guess. So actually a few things I could have done here. I could have grabbed um, an embossing pen that I also have and that I haven't really used. But I think the acrylic paint will dry shiny as well. So it looks a little bit like a night scene in the background there. And the dots are more purposeful. I mean, it could happen, right? You did that on purpose. <laughs> it almost looks like snow. But we're not going to go there yet. We're just going to say they are stars. Yeah, that's it. We got opaque white bees in the night, surrounded by stars. All right, so there's that. And where did my where did my black butterflies go? For real. I mean, I just had them. There we go. See, they're not as apparent. So I'm just going to have to let that dry before I touch it too much. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that showed you something. I don't know what, but if you're not familiar with embossing, like I'm not familiar with embossing, then... You know we can maybe learn from each other so i wish you a great day be blessed and prosperous in jesus name and we'll see you again next time bye for now